I think the rabbit got in here and thinned out some of my sunflower seeds on this end, which I don't really mind, to be honest with you. You can see there are three rows of sunflowers. There are hundreds of them that actually sprouted. Um, so this is kind of the update. I've had several people asking. You can actually see that the burpee seeds along the back there, those are the Russian mammoth sunflowers. I believe every one of them <laughs> come up. That was a whole packet. They were sewed really close together. The next two rows have three different varieties and they were kind of, I just mixed them up and tossed them down. And it seems like they're doing much better on this end, but I think this end here was doing better and I think the rabbit got them. So I ain't too worried about that. There's definitely going to be plenty and if the rabbit wants to eat sunflowers. Why they're small like this, as long as it leaves a few, that's fine with me. I always try to grow enough for me, enough for the bees, and enough for the rabbits and uh, other animals. Although, stuff, stuff that I grow outside of the main garden, I always grow extra of just for this very reason. I know the animals are going to get them. So, uh, always plant more than you need and help out the wildlife. Kind of the point that I want to make. But yeah, you can kind of see there's... <laughs> going to be several hundred sunflowers and I'm just going to let them go and see what happens kind of like my own little science experiment anyways thanks for watching god bless you god bless your families god bless the homestead